Hello everyone, welcome to ANS Academy. This is Aitana and Sharma. Right now, I'm a student of IIT Madras and in this video, I'm going to take you back to the journey of how I scored 117 out of 120 back in GA Advanced. Maths was my favorite subject from childhood and the first time I got exposure to higher mathematics was back in 2015 when for the first time I came across mathematical olympiads. So like I did not know they were a thing. But back in 2015 when my school and everyone was applying for pre-RMO that is pre-regional mathematical olympiad which now has changed names to IUQM. So I applied for that and I was back in class 10 I think uh, around 2015. So uh, I applied, I gave the exam and the questions were considerably difficult. Like they were nothing like of class 10 or class 11, 12 even. But after giving the exam, I had qualified. When the result came in, I had qualified and I had qualified with more than 50% marks, which was a huge achievement for me. And after qualifying that, I came to know, okay, so now I'm going to give RMO, which is Regional Mathematical Olympiad. And this exam was entirely different. And this was something that changed my life forever. Then came the day for RMO. I went prepared. I had prepared all the subjects like number theory, combinatorics, algebra, geometry. Geometry was a bit weak, I would admit. But when I gave RMO, I was pretty confident that, okay, like I am getting like above 50%. I'm surely going to qualify, right? Because it was subjective. It was completely different from what I had studied in school. But to my surprise, the cutoff was more than 65% or I think 70%. So RMO is considered one of the biggest exams in mathematics when you are in high school. And I had scored around 55 to 60 in RMO and the cutoff was around 66 to 67. I had failed, but for six, seven marks, but a failure is a failure here. But the problem was that the limit for giving RMO was over and I could not give any more Olympiad exams after that. So once this was done, I had realized many things like the amount of mathematics that I do not know and that are not contained in your school books when you're studying from class one to class 12, the amount of math that you study there are a lot of mathematics that you should know, which is not taught at school, which basically improves your logical reasoning, the way you look at a problem, the way you solve it, the way you reason it. But I came to that exposure. I got that exposure only from RMO. And after that, I had started grinding these problems, this logics and this kind of mathematical problems. So I had done that. And in class 12, I, had, I sat for the JE mains examination. So I sat for JE mains and JE mains was a success for me. I got over 200 marks and I got a chance to appear for the JE advanced examination. So this was 2017 and JE advanced 2017 was set by IIT Madras. Coincidentally, the institute right now I am in and the paper was kind of moderate to difficult. But the twist was I had not studied chemistry. I have never studied chemistry to be honest. So when I gave the exam, I was pretty sure like, okay, like if I could score at least 10 or more in chemistry, I would be done. But the chemistry marks were pretty low. So in 2017, my J advanced attempt was failed, but I had scored 117 out of 120 in maths. The physics score was around 30 to 40. Chemistry was eight to nine. And you really have to score 10 above in each subject to pass the entire J advanced examination as an aggregate. But my math score was as expected, I what I had expected. So fast forward to 2018, I gave ex, uh, gave the attempt again, and this time I had qualified and with 100 plus score in maths again. But this time I had also scored more than 40 percent in both physics and chemistry, and I had got a lot of opportunities after that. But I did not choose any of the IITs or NITs. I went to Iser, Iser Trivandrum. So after Iser Trivandrum from 2020 to 2023, I was at ISI Kolkata studying BSTAT, where I got exposure to all these different kinds of statistical and data science fields which is what I'm currently studying at IIT Madras now. But it, the process of getting admission to ISI was another hurdle which I had to cross. Because if you know how ISI and CMI, which is Chennai Mathematical Institute, sets papers, you would also know that their papers are similar to what do you have in Olympiads. In addition, there is also calculus. So that's the point. But when I was preparing for ISI in, back in 2020, I was already completely prepared for any type of questions they had to give me because in that time frame in between those five six years i had studied a lot and by a lot i mean a lot so like all the time if i even if i was doing something else i was always doing maths on the back of my head and olympiad maths calculus higher integrations stuffs from research papers i have done everything so i would put some of those links in the description you can see how i managed and what i did and what i did not do but all those things helped me a lot and I had cracked the ISI BSTAT examination whose video link you can fire on the top left here. 
the examination was one of a kind and on 2020 because there was covid there was no interview which is why the cut off marks basically rose up and they were the highest among like let's say till today because th those were the highest marks for cut off for any examination ISI has ever conducted in VSTAT. It was 216. Usually the cut off is the aggregate cut off is around 170 or stuff. So I had got a direct admission to ISI and it was a great achievement, I would say. So what's my secret to this kind of success? Like studying all day or maybe just being good at math? Well, I would say getting exposure to maths, which is beyond your school book, beyond your reasoning is a great way to learn these different kinds of tools that allows you to tackle any problem. So I would put a certain amount of uh, books and I would put some links to websites, which you should definitely visit if you want to enrich your mathematics. But this is a ch this channel I've started because I want to share with you how I basically what I studied, what I actually wanted to show you the problems, the concepts and the methods and how to bypass them how to think through each problem, how to uh, tackle a problem, which at first sight might seem impossible. But then again, if you look closely enough, if you know the right tools, you would see that the problem is just a breeze walk. So this is what I'm going to show you in this whole channel. And this video is basically for you to understand that maths is not really that hard, at least not at this level. It is definitely hard after a certain level, but not at this level, trust me. So that was it for this video. So my main goal in this video was to let you know what I'm going to give on to this channel and what helped me all these years to almost ace all every exam of mathematics I've ever given. So I will try to post all of these contents one by one at my own pace. I'll try to be fast, but okay, I can't guarantee, but I'm trying my best. So please check out the description for the links for the books and let me know in the comment section if you have any doubts, any suggestions or maybe you want to ask something about a certain course, a certain institution, anything you like. And also do subscribe to the channel, please, because I really do not have any subscribers and it would be great to have a lot of them. So thank you.